I have a broken GPU. Let's fix it. Oh, hi everybody, TechTheLeeb here. And today we're gonna be talking about broken graphics cards and how to fix them. There are lots of ways a graphics card could break. I've had a lot of graphics cards over the years cause I, I like to build computers and test them, but sometimes graphics cards, uh, especially old graphics cards, and all this stuff could happen to new ones too, they just break. Maybe they were running too hot or there was a problem with the quality of the components or they're just old or a power surge or you spill diet root beer on them. Oh, speaking of which, I'll be right back. You know, I was uh, telling my mom when the pandemic started, we couldn't buy diet root beer in the grocery store. There was like uh, some supply chain issues or some uh, aluminum shortage or something. So I says to my mom, I says, I'm not gonna consider this pandemic over until I can buy diet root beer in the grocery store again. And a few weeks ago, guess what I found in the grocery store? So good news, the pandemic is over. Just kidding, we're all gonna die. Anyways, we're talking about uh, broken graphics cards here. If your card's under warranty, you're good. You should have it replaced by the company. But for cards that are out of warranty, they have a few options. So a graphics card can break in uh, lots of ways. I gotta show you how to fix the three most common ways it can break. All three of these happen to be multiple times, and I found the best ways to fix each one. Problem number one, the fans break or get uh, way too loud. They start sounding like the clanky old rusty air conditioner in my mom's bedroom window, but it's coming from your computer. Uh, problem number two is the card uh, seems to work fine, but it crashes whenever it's under load, like while you're playing a game. Problem number three is artifacts. The video card appears to be working, but it's outputting a signal that's all garbled and uh, ugly. If these are happening to you, don't throw out that GPU. You can fix it, believe it or not, and I'll show you how to deal with each of these problems right now. I will show you how to deal with each of these problems and fix them. Right after a diet root beer break. Disclaimer! Any and all advice given in this video is for educational purposes only. Computer components are sensitive pieces of technology that should be serviced by professionals. TechDweeb is not responsible for any damages, house fires, or dismemberment caused by his terrible advice. Computer component service should be done by trained technicians as you can damage them beyond repair. Do not attempt any repairs yourself unless you have sacrificed a can of diet root beer to the computer gods. Don't come whining to me when you break your GPU or set your computer on fire. Okay, so problem one, noisy fans. This one's annoying because the card is working fine. You don't want to get rid of it, but the noise coming from those fans is just so annoying. The first step is to take the cooler off and clean the sucker out. It's possible that there's some uh, dust or a dead fly or pieces of old candy sucks somewhere in the fans that's causing the noise. Use some compressed air or an electronic duster like I'm using to give it a good cleaning. You can even use some WD-40 to spray into the rotating mechanism on the fans if you're feeling brave, just to tidy about. Put it back together and give it a test. If it works, then great. If it doesn't, then you'll have to replace those fans. When you took it apart, you should have been able to see on the fan the part number or the model number. You'll need that because we're going to be ordering some new fans. If you can't find it, just search it up on Google. Then we're going to order some replacements. If you're in a rush, you can find most popular fan models and sizes on Amazon. They'll be a bit more money, but you should get them nice and quick. If you aren't in a rush, then ordering them from China on sites like uh, AliExpress has a great way to save a buck. This is my uh, GTX 760, and it has this exact problem. Give it a listen. So I ordered the fans about a month ago and they arrived a few days ago. Let's swap them out. We'll put the new fans in place of the old ones and put it back together. I'd give it a test. You hear that? No noise. This was a pretty easy problem to solve and it only costs a few bucks for some new fans. Congratulations, you fixed it. 
Move it along, it's a problem too. Crashing under load. I had this happen to me on an old card I had, and when I learned how to fix it, I can now find cards for sale on Facebook or eBay or wherever that say crashes under load, and I can buy them on the cheap and fix them myself. I've done it a few times and this has worked every time. The likely reason that the card is crashing under load is because of thermals, and the main culprit is likely that the thermal paste that attaches the heatsink to the graphics processor on the card is uh, old and dried up. So we need to replace the thermal paste. To do this, you'll need a tube of thermal paste, so if you don't have one, get one on Amazon. They're not expensive. All you'll need to take the GPU apart by removing the screws that attach the big metal heatsink to the graphics card. Disconnect any wires that are plugged into the board, and when you're ready, slowly and carefully lift the heatsink away from the graphics card. If it's uh, being stubborn, you can twist the heatsink a little bit while you lift it. Once you lift it off, you should see some uh, crusty old thermal paste on the bottom of the heatsink in the graphics processor. I just used some moist paper towel to wipe it slowly until most of it comes clean. You can also use some uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip. When you have the main surfaces clean, you can apply new paste. You'll need just a tidy amount of thermal paste here, about the size of a grain of rice or a medium-sized ant. Once that's on, you'll put the card back together. I hope you remember where all those screws go. And that's it. Your card should now be working just fine. No more crashing under load. Congratulations, you fixed it. Now, if this didn't fix the problem, then the issue is something else related to power or thermals. So if a thorough cleaning and repasting doesn't do the job, then you might want to try the final repair solution for the next problem. Or you might just be out of luck, I'm sorry to say. So with that, let's move on to our final issue. On to problem number three, video artifacts, or no video at all. So it happens like this. One day you're playing Fortnite, and just when you're about to win the entire match, the screen goes all weird. Like there's strange garbled stuff and the video's all messed up. These are called artifacts, and they're no fun. Or you might be getting a black screen. You should make sure that the card's the problem by testing it in another computer. The reason that this happens is because there's some connection on the graphics card that's become loose. Maybe it's one of the VRAM modules, or the GPU, or some other capacitor, or something, uh, whatever. You can fix this by, believe it or not, baking it in the oven. The idea is that applying intense heat may soften the connections so that the components will be more secure when it cools down. Now before I show you how to do this, I'll say that this fix may be temporary. I've had to do this on two graphics cards that I've owned. On one, the problem came back, but on the other, it worked great and the card is still working today, even after extensive use. Okay, here's how it's done. Preheat your oven to uh, 200 degrees Celsius, which is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Get your GPU ready by taking it apart. Take the heatsink and the fans off and try to take off every plastic component that you can. Again, you'll need to clean off that thermal paste. You're going to be using a baking tray and you're going to elevate the graphics card by putting some balls of tin foil on the corners so that none of the PCB of the card is touching the surface of the baking tray. When your oven is ready, slide it in. Set a timer for 8 minutes. When it's done, take it out and don't touch it. Let it cool for as long as it needs. It should be cool to the touch. Then to put that bad boy back together, obviously you'll need to repaste the GPU and put it back together with the screws and stuff, and then you're ready to test it. Did that work? Wow! Congratulations! You fixed it! So like I said, this may be temporary. Here's what you don't want to do. Sell the card. Don't ever let me catch you trying to sell a card that you fixed this way to someone as if it's never had a problem. Look guys, we're all gamers here. The world is a harsh and unkind place. We've all been through struggles and are just doing what we can to survive living in our mom's basement. But don't throw your fellow tech weebs under the bus. Selling a broken card that might fail to someone is the ultimate jerk move. 
So don't be a jerk, okay? All right, well, that's it. Three ways your graphics card might be broken and how to fix it. I hope you found this useful and informative, or at least entertaining. Pretty please share this with anyone you think would help them. And please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there's other graphics card problems I could help you out with. I'd love to hear from you down there. And while you're down there, click the thumbs up button if you like the video, or the thumbs down button if you didn't like it for some reason. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm Tech the Weeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.